this reaction that we're seeing from from the the, uh, the, the uh, Trump supporting diehards targeting independence, which is going to be a massive net negative for Trump. And I'll tell you why. There are a lot of people who vote emotionally. Mm-hmm. I would say the overwhelming majority. Would you guys agree? The overall yep. majority. And what happens? Amen. What happens when there's some dude who's like, I don't know a whole lot about Trump, but I was into Joe Rogan. That Fauci stuff's crazy. Is that true? Well, I don't want the Democrats to get back in. And then some guy goes on Twitter and says, F you, you stupid, you know, mm-hmm. moron. And mm-hmm. then he's, he's going to be like, screw you. I'll, I'll vote for Kamala. Like, there's going to be a lot of people who literally do this because mm-hmm. they're not smart and they don't care or they're spiteful. So right now, the strategy should be, um, I don't know, like building alliances yeah. and being the party that accepts. I want to show you the, the, the aggregate, aggregate polling right now. Kamala Harris is up 0.5. What do they say? They say, this is not true. I see. Look, look at all these polls showing Kamala Harris winning. And I hear from all the Trump supporters saying it's fake polling. We don't believe polls. Mm. So when the polling was favorable for Trump, everyone believed it. Now you don't. We don't have to trust polls. That's fine. They were wrong in 2016. But uh, that was eight years ago. So the pollsters have changed. If you if you don't want to believe me, if you do, entirely up to you. How about we go betting odds? The betting. Uh, I'm sorry. This is battlegrounds. Betting odds is here. Kamala Harris is beating Donald Trump 50.4 to 48.1. So in the betting odds with BetOnline, Betfair, Bovada, Bwin, Polymarket, Predicted, and Smarkets, Kamala Harris is ahead in, I think, I think all of them. She's tied on Bwin and Bovada, and she's winning every other one. The one thing I can give Trump is he's got 1.4% in the battleground states, which is tremendous, and that's where it really matters. That's good news. But you cannot ignore that you're seeing these polls. You cannot ignore the betting odds. These are people actually wagering money because they think Trump's going to lose. And I'll leave uh, and and I'll lead off the opening of the segment with this. This (laughs) is the famous comic that has been showed time and time again. It's a it's a guy in the middle between the blue and the red and left and the right saying both sides make some good points. The blue dude pushes him. The red guy catches him and says, you all right? And he goes, yeah, thanks. And the Democrat blue guy says, why are you siding with the bad guys? This was made. I think this is years old. To exemplify people like uh, Colin Wright and Elon Musk finding themselves in alliance with Republicans and Trump supporters because the Democrats had lost their minds. For what reason would Donald Trump's most ardent supporters decide to do the opposite and push people back to the Democrats? This is the exact this this meme exemplifies why so many people didn't want to be Democrat anymore. Mm-hmm. So the response is screw you, you're stupid mm-hmm. and w- and F you anyway. Well, if you want to lose, I guess. It could add another frame and push him back. And then another frame of the person just... Yeah, put, put Cat Turd's face on the guy. <laughs> just goes back right. and forth. Right. Just, just invert it. Make the blue guy red. And then put Cat Turd's face on it, shoving him back to the Democrats. And it's just go on and on until people get fed up. And then that's where the nihilism with elections yeah. come in. And they're like, well, all right, well, screw it. I don't care. This is the kind of stuff attacking Joe Rogan that results in people who may have been like, I guess I'll vote for Trump to go, I'm not voting for any of these crackpots. They're all crazy. Yeah. That's what I think the biggest problem for you know both politicians just right now to have people who are saying i don't like either option and the voter looks a little bit different for a conservative versus you know harris Mm -hmm. harris has an issue because you know especially very pro palestine voters those who are you know uh feel really strongly that joe biden has mishandled that issue Mm -hmm. they want her to call for an absolute ceasefire right and to say no terms at all and that puts her in a very difficult position if they stand by that which some of them won't some of them will ultimately vote for the Democrat anyways. But if there's enough that are saying we're sitting this one out or if RFK, you know, because I, I ultimately think that RFK Jr. steals more Democrats than he does conservatives. He's still he's stealing from both sides. From both. Yeah. But I think it's more Democrats. It's more like, Democrat. Either way, you know, the Trump voter, I think in, in in if there are voters on the left that sit out for those reasons, the voters on the right will sit out because they're like, I don't know. I Everyone's fighting. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Like right. the apathy is what really hurts people who might lean conservative. 